Hi guys, I'm super sorry for the low energy in this video. I am sick with Corona, but it's time for an update. So apparently, Quest has released version 60. And as you can see, I haven't really used this much uh, since my last video. Let's see uh, how that fares. We are now running software update version 60. So that's interesting. Version 60 has launched. I can actually show you guys. It's Christmas time. As you can see. Oh, my router is right here in this shelf, sending out signals. And I'm sitting one, two, three meters from it. No, yeah, connected to the six gigahertz, connected. Transmit speed is at 19. And you know what? So far, oh, that fucks down to 17. It's not moving a lot now, but it's still not at full speed. But the receive link is at uh, 1400. That's quite interesting. Let's open virtual desktop. Kill all clouds. There we go. And that just goes and shuts down all the processes I don't really need. It's my own little script there. So that should make everything a lot smoother. Virtual desktop streamer is running. Now the transmit speed is down to 1080. So as you can see, it's uh, I think the intervals, it's uh, adjusting its speed is taken down significantly, but it's still fluctuating. So let's go to our app library and then go to virtual desktop, which normally is shoved all the way back down here. Okay, you can tell that my encoding has uh, some latency issues, and that's because I'm using the Havoc encoder. I should probably fix that before doing this test. So let me go back. There we go. Using the H.264 Plus, I actually fixed the encoding a lot, and that's because the Havoc uses the GPU. And uh, you want to have all your GPU for the graphics and not for the encoding. So that makes sense. And so don't leave it at auto, just put it to H264. That error there is a bullshit because I'm using a 3090. I have a lot of video memory. But uh, yeah, so Steam, uh, I mean, uh, Valve still hasn't fixed that. So let's uh, just load up a game. So it's still fluctuating a lot, the megabits per second. It's at 17 now, which is pretty good. And uh, as long as you're over 1200, as been said before, uh, your Wi-Fi experience will be quite good. Uh, but as you can see, it never goes up to uh, to 24. Now I said 21. 2400 is what you are supposed to have a baseline of when you're using uh, Wi-Fi 6. And the Quest isn't reaching that. It's uh, it's a hell of a lot better uh, than the first version of it. Uh, now it's Generally, it keeps at 1700, uh, which is very good, but still, it's uh, it's supposed to be higher than that. But again, as for a wireless experience, this should be more than sufficient as long as you're sitting in line of sight of your router. The problem is when you start moving away from it uh, into another room, for example, or something like that, then the megabits per second will actually plunge down and you'll get a less uh, ideal experience. And this device is supposed to work uh, with a, a baseline of 2400 megabits per second. It's not doing that, it's fluctuating. So there's something wrong somewhere. 
And uh, the problem might lie with Qualcomm. Uh, so, because there has been reports that also the Pixel 7 has uh, problems with the Wi-Fi 6 network. So, uh, it might actually be on them as well to fix their drivers. Oops. But I'm gonna run this game now, and uh, so you can see the experience. Uh, keep going a little bit. If you want to skip to the end, you can do that. Uh, but pay attention to the overlay, and you can see how it fluctuates up and down. As I said, it's, it, re it mainly stays at 17, but it goes down to 14, sometimes down to 10. Uh, remember, I'm just sitting 3 meters from my router, I'm not moving anywhere. Uh, I should probably stand up and crouch more and stuff like that, but I really don't have the energy for it right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, this bug is still there. They have made some improvements probably to have a workaround to make this work better. Uh, but it's still not fixed, so uh, issue is still not resolved. But version 60 actually makes it uh, even better than version 59, so that's good. So, I'll leave this game running, and you can skip to the end if you want.
The headset is working as long as you're three meters and in view of the router. Uh, as before, nothing has really changed in 60, except I can see that the negotiation rates has gone down, so it doesn't change that often. But it still fluxes between 10 to, no, 1,000 to uh, 1,900, and now it goes up to uh, 24, uh, 2,400. So we're still at status quo, really, when it comes to uh, this bug. It's still there. But it's interesting to note that some people have experienced the same problem with Pixel 7 phones, which might suggest that this uh, bug could be related to the Qualcomm uh, chip. Uh, and maybe Qualcomm has to update their drivers and not just Meta uh, or TP-Link. So that's quite interesting. Uh, but... Uh, as far as this bug uh, is concerned, as I said, as long as you're in view of your router, it works. I mean, you can play wireless games uh, a lot better than you could when the first version in version 57. So it's a lot better. It's not perfect, not by a far shot, but it's working. Uh, other than that, I don't really have much of an update. But it's Christmas soon, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to have a, a nice Christmas, uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.